Well, God bless you today, and welcome to my program. Jesus is so good, and I just can't stop praising and worshiping him. Um, he is so good. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. I love that song, and I wish I had a much better voice. I'd sing that right now, but you know what? Um, Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. You're welcome in this place. You are always welcome here. We love you and praise you today. And you know, we've been sharing, so I'm going to go jump right in here. We've been sharing about the Holy Spirit in our lives and the different way He just, um, how He consumes our life with His presence. This is a rainy day right now that we're having. We're having, it's been gloomy and overcast all day. And to be perfectly honest, we do have down days. We all have ups and we all have downs. And I just real quick want to share, I won't linger on this very long, but I've had a very sad, 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 sad week. We have lost our little Zuzu. She is now, um, we had to put her to sleep. She was, um, she was dying. And um, she had come close. I mean, it's been months and months and months that we know that she was losing weight very rapidly and she was um, slowly not eating as much and uh, different things like that. I'm sure you all know what that's like and I won't go into the details, but it got to the place where she could hardly walk anymore and she was wobbling and um, was sitting at her water dish and couldn't even drink water anymore and was now without food for days. She was just barely licking a few little morsels so needless to say, it was a very, very heartbreaking week. So as I look outside today and I look at that rainy day, it's almost like the Lord is saying to me, <clears throat> many of you have had bad, you know, really hard times, heartaches and sorrows. And I just want to let you know that Jesus knows. All I can say is Jesus knows. He knows. And he sent his comforter to us. And if it wasn't for the fact that we live in Christ and that the Holy Spirit lives and dwells in us, how could we ever get through these, these times? Yes, we've lost. I've lost my mom. I've lost my dad. I've lost my precious brother as well. I've lost um, friends, dear friends. I've lost many, many pets. And now, and now Zuzu's gone. I'm, I'm sure some of you have seen her in my videos. And she'd sneak in there somewhere. Or she was always sleeping behind me. She always wanted to be near me when I was doing videos. She always wanted to be in the same room. And that's what we call unconditional love. And that's the Lord that we serve. That's the way the Holy Spirit is. He is unconditionally love. And he's given us these pets and these people and these different uh, um, experiences in life to let us know how valuable it is to be loved. And I want to read to you out of the scripture right now. I'm going to read to you out of John. <coughs> The role of the Spirit goes on to say, this is the Amplified, okay? And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, a comforter, an advocate, an intercessor, a counselor, a strengthener, a standby, to be with you forever, forever, forever. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I felt the comforter of the Holy Spirit so deeply in my heart, in my life this week because of the fact that um, I needed him so desperately this week because I saw her pain and I saw it in her eyes and the way she was acting and I, I didn't want her to go through all that. I wanted her to be a happy little kitty cat again and I wanted her to just be in my videos calling and looking for my attention and um, for me to scuttle her off. <laughs> it was her little game. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit came to me during all this time. Now that she's not here, and I know she's in heaven, I know she's with the Lord, and I know she's going to be at the pearly gates waiting with all of her pets, just like you will. <coughs> Excuse me. These special moments in our life are gifts from God. They're kisses from heaven. These little pets are there to help us and to, to comfort us. Many of the times that we are in need, they're there for us. So as I read this, I will ask the Father to give you another comforter, an advocate, an intercessor, a counselor, a strengthener, a standby to be with you forever. So, you know, we have to divorce our thoughts 
and take them away from that. The enemy would love to have us linger on the sadness. But there comes a time when we cannot linger there any longer because we know that the Lord has given us hope in Christ and that he has mansions waiting for us and our pets and our loved ones and our friends and our family and everything is going to be wonderful when we get there. And that's our holy hope. That's our precious hope in Christ Jesus. We all have this in him. Um, the sad part of it is the world is getting darker and darker every day and they don't they know not of this precious Christ or they would not have done this to our world and they would not be doing the things that are taking place today in the world <clears throat> and Jesus said those same words to the the two um, people that were on the cross next to him they were criminals and um, the one rejected him and the other one said let me be with you in paradise Jesus he looked to him and that's what the Lord said this day you will be with me in paradise so he asked the Lord to take him and to forgive him and the Lord received him and that day he said you will be with me in paradise and the same goes for all of us if we receive Christ even if it is the very last we don't want people to go through that. We don't want to see them go through life miserable and unhappy and without Christ. But sometimes people are stubborn and are living for this world and they just want to do their thing because they are really, um, they don't know why they need Christ. They don't know why they need salvation. They don't understand the freedom and the peace and the joy and the comfort that we're talking about today. They only, they'll only know the pain of the world and the sorrow of the world and the heartache of the world and be angrier and angrier. That's our job now is to bring that gospel, the precious gospel of Jesus Christ to all people. Take the opportunity and give the word out wherever possible. And remember that the Holy Spirit is with us. He is our comforter, our strengthener, our standby, our advocate, our intercessor. Ponder on these things and remember all the times that the intercessor and the advocate and the comforter has been with you. I like to think of the comforter because when, when we, it was just something that I remembered from the time I was very little. We had a little summer cottage many years ago. <coughs> Excuse me. When we were growing up and my grandma left us a little bit of property out in the country and my mom and dad built a little cottage so we'd have a place to retreat from the city and we'd get sometimes we'd leave real early in the morning like around 12 or 1 o'clock when my my father and mother had everything all packed up and we'd drive through the night in our little old car and um, we'd get to this little cottage that my father built with his own hands and um, it was so cute I remember it was a really cute little cottage and I remember getting into that, it was empty all week and cold and we'd get into that bed and my mom had a very thick comforter. It was at least a half a foot thick. <laughs> it was a, what they called a feather thick or a comforter. And she'd tuck me into that with my brother and tuck us in bed and it was like real wee hours in the morning by the time we arrived. It was like a three hour drive to get to where we were going to a little town called Camp Lake. And, um, we get get up in the morning and we hear the the doves because we lived off of a channel that led to a lake. And those are the memories I have of the comforter is being there for me. Those were comforting moments when my mother used to tuck me in bed and she, you know, kinda like tuck us in and we'd be warm in that wonderful comforter and that cold bed would all of a sudden be warm again. And those are the good memories I have of the comforter. And that's who the comforter is for us. He just covers us with his love. He tucks us in to himself, and he's there no matter what you're going through in life. I'm going to leave you now with all these thoughts, and I just can say to you, I just want to say, God bless you. I love you. I'm always praying for you. If you need any, if you need prayer, please put your prayer requests below. Um, <clears throat> I may forget to mention it, but please remember, prayer is what everything is all about. Jesus is the intercessor that sits at the right hand of God, the Father, even now praying for you and I. He is our comforter, our advocate, and 
He will never leave us or forsake us, just as he told the disciples. As we receive him, he is with us always. God bless you today, and I love you. And um, this has been your divine.